I'm excited to come your way once again as we continue this wonderful journey in additional mathematics. We are looking at functions. My name is Nana Yawedu and you can call me Sir Nana. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get all the videos on time. So in our previous lesson, we have looked at why we must study functions and we've considered functions looking at it in terms of being able to model functions in terms of the prices of petrol and the number of gallons you get, in terms of the amount of money you pay in a ride hailing app, in terms of architecture where you have a quadratic functions and other forms of things like cooking, a whole lot of examples in real life. Now in this lesson, we want to look at the vertical test for functions. We want to consider how we can look at a graph and determine whether that graph is a function or not a function. So let's consider this graph so that we can be able to determine whether that graph is a function or not a function using the vertical line test. So we have this graph, right? Realize that the graph is on the Cartesian plane, which is the x axis and the y axis. And basically, by just looking at it, we know that it is a graph of a cubic function, right? It is not important for us to know the type of graph that it is, but this graph is f of x, which is equal to x cubed, right? Plus 3x plus 1, right? A function of this form, or a function f of x, which is equal to ax cubed plus b s squared plus c x plus one right or plus d in in other words so this is basically a function in terms of rewriting it out but let's assume that we do not know the function how do we use a vertical line test to be able to determine that uh, something that is drawn on a graph is a function or not a function so let's consider that so basically with the vertical line test all you need to do is to pick your ruler and put your ruler on so many parts of the graph right so look for so many points on the graph and then pick your ruler and then try and draw a line a vertical line right so we want to draw a vertical line so we can put a vertical line here put a vertical line here right we want to put a vertical line all through the graph so we put a vertical line here we put a vertical line here right we put another vertical line here so what we need, want to check is that we want to see whether these vertical lines touch two points on the axis right when it touches two points then we can conclude that it is not a function when it touches one point then it means that it's a function look what this implies is that these points represent values of y or the range of a function so for instance if I have f of x to be equal to x cubed plus 1, right? If I have f of 1, I can substitute the value of the 1 in place of the x. So I have 1 cubed plus 1, which will be equal to what? 2. 1 cubed is 1. Plus 1 gives us 2. So for the 1, it represents the domain of the function. And the 2 represents the range of the function. So what we get here for the values here. We realize that there is no two values that can probably be seen when it comes to the domain here so when it touches one side right when it touches only one point on the function then we say that the graph is a function now let's look on the other side so on the other side if we perform the vertical line test we could just put one line here and it defeats it so just putting the line here you realize that that line will touch two points we have this point here and then we have another point here right so the fact that it touches two points on the curve indicates that so for instance the a and the b here right the fact that the line right or the vertical line touches two points on the curve then it means that the graph it's not a function right a graph is not a function 
So to determine a function or what is not a function in terms of graph using the vertical line test, all you need to do is to draw a vertical line. And once it touches one point, then it means that you can conclude that it's a function. When the line touches two points, then it means that it is not a function. Right, let's consider some more examples of graphs. So we have this example as well. So determine whether it is a, a function using the vertical line test. Right, so pause the video, you can try your hands on it and then we can go through it. So basically when we draw a line through this point, any part we draw a line through, we realize that just by drawing the line, you can see that it touches just one point on the graph, right? So when we draw the line, we could see that the line touches just one point on the line. So it touches here, then it touches this point, then it touches this point, and then it touches this point. So we can conclude that indeed the graph is the graph of a function. Right, so I'm going to give you this exercise to try. All I want you to do is to look at it very carefully. Try and use your imagination to draw the line and indicate whether these graphs, the first one is the A, the second one is the B, and the third one is the C, is a function or not a function. So using the vertical line test, determine the functions from these graphs. You can also draw it out as well. And determine the functions from it so you can draw each and every individual one of them and then determine whether or not the graph is a function now once you get your answer indicate the answer in the comment section so you can say a it is a function or a is not a function so that we can discuss it and probably correct the answers or i'm hoping that you'll be able to get all of them right so in this lesson we have basically looked at how we can determine whether a graph is a function or whether it is not a function basically using the vertical line test and we said the vertical line when it touches just one point on the graph then that graph is a function but then when it touches two points then that graph is not a function in our next lesson we want to consider how we can evaluate functions remember to like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next lesson